Hello Survivor, I hope all is well with you. If you clicked on this video, you are probably intrigued by overhaul mods and the game 7 Days to Die. So stick around and I will try to show you how to download these mods into your game without interrupting your vanilla game. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to go into your Steam application and then you're going to go onto your game. You're going to right click it and we need to find out where Steam is saving your game. So we're going to go with, uh, select browse local files. You select that and it's going to bring you to the actual file in your computer. This I would not touch any of this. Just leave it alone. Like whatever I tell you, I won't tell you to touch anything here, but just do not touch any any of the stuff. If you do change anything and you don't know how to uh, go back to how it was before, you'll probably have to uninstall the game and then uh, reinstall it in Steam. OK, so there is a fix for it, but just don't change anything here. OK, we're going to go back up a one. And I'm going to show you here kind of how I have my setup here. So this is my seven days to die vanilla. I would change the name to vanilla for you so you can see that. But it'll mess up uh, whenever I search for this file in Steam. It won't recognize it because Steam uh, only has only recognizes it as seven days to die, period. That's it. Nothing else to it. So the first thing you want to do before you uh, download a new mod is you're going to make a copy of your vanilla folder. All you do is you right click and then you you could copy and in this same window you can paste it uh you can do control c control v i'm not sure how that works with any of the other operations uh systems so i already made a copy i made it before i just started the video because it does take a little bit for it to create the copy because it's that big file it just makes another one for you so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to download war of the walkers so what i like to do is i like to actually change this to the mod that I am downloading so that I know exactly where it goes. And I'm just going to call it a uh, war. OK, I'm not going to name the whole thing. So once you do that, you can just click off of it or hit enter. Either one works. As you notice here, I play a lot of Darkness Falls, a lot of Rebirth. So these are the two mods that I that are, these are the two files for those mods. And these files are what allow me to play different mods at different times so that if I launch seven days to die, I'm not just launching vanilla all the time. I want to be able to launch a different game. It's it's very similar to you clicking on like if I were to uh, start playing fast food simulator, I would click on here and play fast food simulator. By me setting this up this way, it's kind of the same. It's kind of like my own little steam list here, right? Is if I want to play uh, Darkness Falls, I would click on Darkness Falls. If I want to play vanilla, I would play on vanilla. So this is kind of how you are able to tell the difference between your different game files. Awesome. So we're going to keep this window open. You just want to minimize it. That's it. The next thing you want to do is you want to go into your browser, right? And in the browser, you have different options. You have the seven days to die website. It's it's seven days to die mods .com. And this is one of the websites that has the mods. It also has modlets. Uh, modlets are just smaller over, other than overhaul mods they they'll probably have like maybe gun changes changes maybe vehicle changes maybe the way you farm changes maybe map changes little little changes to vanilla that you can add to it and then the other one is nexus so there are two websites that i know of uh, that allow you to download uh different mods into your game okay so these are the two websites so let's go over to overhaul mods right so i'm gonna use seven days to die mods for this particular example if you scroll over to the to the bottom and you look at the right, uh, you can actually go and go through every category and we're going to go into overhaul mods. So this will list all the mods that actually change the game. Right. Completely. You have all the different mods here uh, and we're going to just for the sake of this video, we're going to do War of the Walkers. So you click on the video on the on the link itself and then you scroll down. You can read the description. I recommend that you do. Uh, and then you scroll all the way to when you see the actual download link. Right. So for us, we're, we're on version one. Right. We're no longer in alpha. You can go back to alpha. That's a different video. Uh, I'm not going to go over that right now. And then you basically you download whatever whatever option you want. I downloaded the stable branch. I don't like messing with experimental stuff. Because if you start a series and something changes and you want that change, you may have to restart your 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 series. So I do um, I, I'm going to for this example, I'm going to do uh, the stable branch. I've already downloaded it. But all you do is you click on here 
you go to your and then you wait for it depending on how fast your internet or your computer is uh you'll download it at that speed i've already downloaded it it's right here and then so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open this up double click on it we're going to move it to the side a little bit right and then we are going to go also open our other file window right remember we are at this window this is the window that has our game file right this is our computer file right here to the left correct we're good so far good all right so one thing i didn't talk about were mods so the vanilla copy which is this one has a file named mods it comes with it you can delete it but it comes with it and this is where you would add your little modlets if you wanted to just add to your vanilla game you would just add them here and the cool thing about adding those it has the date when you added them so you could always go back and just delete everything you don't want on your vanilla file based on the date so that's kind of a little shortcut there for you uh so let's go back up and because we made a copy of this one and it's called war this also has a mods folder so here you are so this is this this is file right here is where your changes go you double click it you open it and it's right here now let's go ahead and come back over here to the actual game file from the internet and you double click on that see now this also has a mods folder already so one thing you can do here there are two ways to do this you can just delete this folder it's safe to do it because this is your copy okay this is not your vanilla this is your copy so it's safe to delete this and then just move this over i like to check something before i do that though i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and i need to make sure that all these files have this file name right here anything that says mod info xml that means that file is going to be good to move over for me that's just for me here it's up here if there is a file that does not have that, that means there's another file inside of that that I have to click on. And so I've already checked all these. These are good for me. So one thing you can do is basically, it's really simple. It's just control A, control C, and then you go into your mods folder and you come over here. Now you can always just drag it. That's probably easier. Uh, but obviously there are all kinds of ways to do this. I just did control C, control V, which is control copy control paste it's going to bring everything down i'm going to get a duplicate for the ta to for the harmony i think you can just replace it this is going to take a little bit so i'm going to just kind of pause the video here and then come back to you guys all right very cool and there's the one that's telling me to replace it we're just going to replace it we're going to add whatever whatever tf harmony version the mod has we're going to go ahead and take that one awesome so now all these files from the seven days to die website are in our computer we've saved them to our game file so awesome you just kind of go up one back and here are just so that it's not too confusing let's just stay here right okay so this is if i go back one more again we have our different types of different versions of the game this is a vanilla version and here's the seven days to die war of the walkers so we're going to click on this and then we're going to go in here and just double check I'm just double checking my work. All the mods are in there. All these mods right here make War of the Walkers a, an overhaul mod. So the mod creator, creator put all these files together for you so that you're able to have that experience of that mod. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and come back this way. And now the most important part, you're probably thinking, how do I launch the game? Because if you launch it in Steam, it'll launch your vanilla version all the time. Uh, but in order for you to be able to launch it, on your own is you're going to click on this little guy right here now sometimes it works on the the seven day launcher but it some it also works on this one let's go ahead and try with the seven day uh, launcher you just double click you're gonna run it and we'll see how we did all right very cool so this lo already looks different than vanilla right actually it looks like there are two screens in my on my monitor here but that's fine here it is this kind of shows what well, this shows me that we did it correctly we have war of the walkers mod we have its music which is cool and then right here you would just click on new game and you would just launch the game this way so it looks like we did it correctly because we have the war of the walkers icon and, and startup screen right if we had if we had done it incorrectly it would launch the vanilla for you okay i'm going to show you one more thing on how you don't have to keep going into steam to find your file so that you can just access the game from your desktop which is how i do it so let me show you that really quick okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and right click on the launcher i'm gonna right click on it and then i'm gonna go over to show more options 
and I want this to be a desktop shortcut. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create a desktop shortcut there. My it, it's already sent it to my to my desktop. And then I'll show you what to do from there. The reason why you want to do this one is because this is technically how you would have to go into the game file and launch, launch your, your overhaul mod of the game. Once that's done, if you want to get super creative, which I don't recommend, but you can. Uh, no, this one doesn't have it. Sometimes it does have it. Sometimes the mod creators create a logo for you. Uh, this one doesn't have it. And that's okay. So now I'm going to actually show you my desktop, which is kind of embarrassing there it is it's actually a random windows thing so it's not that embarrassing here's my rebirth shortcut darkness falls shortcut and then right here i'm gonna rename this one and we're just gonna name it war right yeah we'll might we'll put it all caps why not and then just click off of it and now when you launch your when you when you go into your your when you start up your computer you have to have steam online and then you just click on here same thing you run it and there you are we're back at the screen perfect so everything worked out correctly uh you just launch the game from here and you are all set to go if you have any questions guys my discord is on my youtube page just click on it go in there uh request me and uh, i can answer any questions live when i'm on there uh if you need me to help you by sharing your screen i'll be more than glad to do that as well but you can pretty much do this with either mods or modlets uh, i just used this example but uh because i think it's one of the latest ones that's been updated for 1.37 days so hope this helped you out uh if you want to help me out uh, go ahead and comment or like the video uh if you're not a fan of seven days uh <laughs> try it it's really fun it's really cool outside of that thank you all again for your time please take care of yourselves i'm out